hello everyone you're welcome back to my youtube channel so guys in case you're joining me for the very first time you are welcome and to all my subscribers thank you for subscribing to this channel thank you for staying tuned here with me on this space you guys are so amazing so on this channel i talk about life experience i share my life experience and i also do a whole lot of unique recipes about baking pastries and food and then you want to learn a whole lot from this channel so if you've not subscribed click on the subscription button to subscribe to this channel because you're gonna be learning a whole lot from this channel so guys right about now i'd like you to sit back and relax and enjoy every bit of this video because today's video it's gonna be awesome it's gonna blow your mind it's something you need to hear it's something you need to know so you don't have to make the same mistakes that i made all right guys so now let's dive right into the video oh my goodness <laughs> so guys uh, after my nyac i decided to go look for a job and then i picked my first job i was working as a teacher guess what guys at first i i got the skills like i got the baking skills a cooking skill that i learned even while i was serving so i was just doing it you know as my hobby as something i have passion for and something i really love to do but guys i did not really um had the conviction that i should you know go into a particular feed or go into the other one so i was contemplating should i go into the career feed or i should go into the business feed so guys this is my experience and this is my story i picked up the teaching job and then i started working as a teacher in abuja and while i was working as a teacher in abuja i was still doing my business i was still doing my cake business because i was baking for people you know just to get some more funds and all that now this is the storyline i did not pray about the particular feed i should go into i was thinking i was supposed to be in the career feed whereas that was not what god has planned out for me so guys after nyc i picked up a teaching job and then i started doing a teaching job and i did a teaching job for two years two good solid beautiful years guys it was not funny now the reason why it was not funny is because i was not getting what i wanted to get from this career feed as a teacher i was not being paid well i was not treated well okay i was not treated well and then i went back to god and then i was like god what should i do am i supposed to be in the career feed or i'm supposed to be in the business feed i know i love to interact with people i know i love to sell things but i also want to be known as a career person you know guys you know you know that say you know there are some ladies or some people out there they just want to you know be in the career feed but have you asked god if that is what he wants you to do if that is what he wants you to you know do here on earth you should know what god wants you to do don't just you know pick up something and then start doing it guys that was my own case i did not ask god i just picked up the teaching job and then went into the teaching career i wasn't planning to get um a trc and in the teaching feed but honestly that was not what god wanted me to do and that was my mistake i would have prayed and asked god god should i go into the career feed should i go into teaching or should i go into business now guys listen to me if you are a business person don't think about the capital before you venture into any kind of business that you want to do. One thing you need to do first is you need to pray and ask God, God, is this what you want me to do? Is this the area you're leading me? Is this what you want me to do in life? If you don't ask questions, if you don't seek knowledge, if you don't ask God for direction, you might just end up running around you know for years and then you end up not achieving anything so guys that was my own case because i worked for two years and then i did not achieve anything in that two years 
while I was in the teaching field because that was the career path I chose for myself. God did not choose that career path for me. So after two years, I started contemplating on what to do. And then I went back to God in prayers. And then I asked God, what should I do? Am I supposed to be in the career path or I'm supposed to be in the business path? You've blessed me with a whole lot of skills. Am I supposed to use those skills to go into business or I'm supposed to build my career? So God asked me to venture into the business. And that is what I'm doing now. And God has been so faithful. God has been so merciful. God's hands upon your life will determine how far you will go in life. So guys, there's someone out there, you're watching this video and then you're thinking, are you supposed to be in the career path or you're supposed to be in the business path? Hello guys, you need to pray and ask God, God, which one do you want me to do? Where do you want me to belong? Am I a career person or am I a business person? It is very, very important. So you don't end up wasting two years, three years, four years after youth service. And then you discover that, oh, this is not working out. Oh, I made a mistake. Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to be in this career path. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video out there is because there are so many people, for example, they studied um, nonsense. Okay, or they studied microbiology, just like me. I studied microbiology. There are so many people that they studied microbiology or they studied nonsense. And then they find them, their self in the banking sector or they find themselves in the sales sector. Have you asked yourself, is that what God wants me to do? Or is because that is what I just found myself doing at that particular time? What I found myself doing after my NYC was the teaching feed. And that particular career was not what God has planned out for me, was not what God actually wanted me to start doing. So guys, that was the biggest mistake I made for the past two years. For the past two years. I made that mistake for the past two years and after two years, and then I told God, Lord, I don't want to go through this anymore. And then he gave me clarity, he gave me direction. It made me to understand that career is good, Okay, to become a career person is good, but this is the aspect and this is the field I want you to venture into, and that has to do with business. So guys, if you're here, you're a fresh graduate or you're done with your NYC and then you're wondering, you're thinking business versus career or career versus business, what should I do? And then maybe in your location or wherever you are, you're thinking, oh, in Nigeria, they don't pay people in career. Or in Nigeria, people in the medical field, they don't pay them. People in the accounting field or the banking sector, they are the ones they are paying. Or rather, people in the um, petrochemical sector, they are the ones they are paying. Hello. Don't think about the people or the particular field that is getting more money. All you need to think about right now and put your focus on is where God wants you to be, what God wants you to do. That is going to help you, okay? That is going to help you. Uh, it's not how you started, okay? It's not how you started, but how it's actually going to end. Like for me, the career path, which happens to be the teaching path, did not end well for me. Yeah, it didn't end well for me. So guys, this was my experience. And then I just said I should share it out there with you guys so you don't have to make the same mistake I made. There are people out there, okay, after NYC or after their graduation from school, the next available job they just want to pick right now is the teaching job or they just want to pick any minor job. I'm not saying those jobs are bad. No, absolutely. Okay, I am not saying those jobs are bad. No, they are not. But... When you're trying to pick any kind of job or any kind of thing that you want to start doing, you need to ask questions, you need to ask God in prayers, you need to have clarity, you need to be focused so you don't just, you know, keep working for years, for years, and then you are not achieving anything that you want to achieve for yourself. So guys, this was my experience and then I hope this video will be able to impart you 
and you know give you an insight on what you need to do after school after nyc after graduation so you don't make the mistake that i made so if you enjoyed this video to the very end i'd like you to give it a thumbs up i also want you to comment share this video to friends and families and also subscribe to this channel because you're going to be getting more impactful content and more amazing and interesting videos from this channel all right guys thank you so much see you guys on my next video bye